So you want to learn how to draw, but you don't know where to start. It's okay. Let me take care of that for you. Something I get asked all the time is, am I too old to start drawing? And the answer is, absolutely not. I started drawing when I was 19, and now I'm 22. And it's been almost four years and I have improved a ton. There are many ways to approach getting started with drawing, but there's probably only one way that's correct. And I'm gonna reveal what that way is to you in this video. Do you know the way? Now let's just clear the air first. Drawing is not a talent, it is a skill. And I'm here to tell you how to get good at that skill fast without telling you to just draw. Man, I used to get that advice all the time. All the time, it's so annoying. It doesn't help. And I get it. With all the resources on the internet, it's a little bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you right now that after watching this video, you will already feel like an art god before you've even started. And here's how you do it. The very first thing that you need is a reference. Literally just find a picture of something you think is cool and then observe. observe. Look closely. What are the shapes? Where are the lines touching? How far apart are the shapes? And what angle are they facing? Okay, you got it? Nice. You already know how to observe. That is the most important step. And you've already mastered it. Good job, smooth brainers. And now that you've learned how to observe, we can move on swiftly. No, 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 no. I said swiftly, not swifty. Okay, that's better. Thank you. So if you're trying to learn a particular art style, then it is quite important that you look at a lot of work from the artists you admire. Really dig deep into their work. Where are they placing lines? What sorts of shapes do they use? How many colors are visible? Do you remember what we call this? Observation. That's right, you're just gonna observe and copy. That is the first step. And when I say copy, I don't mean just copy. I mean copy and copy and copy and copy and copy and copy. When you're starting, it is okay to use a reference all the time. Every single artist does, and it is a myth that they don't. Well, to some extent, but I'll explain that later. You see, the key to drawing well is repetition. And you have this thing called a visual library, and that is where we store all of our silly little pictures that exist in our smooth brains. So, the more things that we draw using a reference, the more likely you are to draw it better the next time, because you've already stored that information in your brain. So, for an example, let's just say you're trying to learn how to draw a mouse. Could you draw an accurate mouse right now? How would it look? You don't really know, do you? Well, guess what? I'm gonna solve that problem. Here. Here's a mouse. Now you know how it looks. And using our observational skills that we learned earlier, we can break down this mouse and draw it far more accurately than we could before seeing the reference. I get it, you want to be able to draw well without the reference. So now let's say you actually do want to draw the mouse without the reference. Well, draw it over and over and over again using the reference and suddenly you'll find if you've observed it enough, you won't need the reference anymore because it's stored in the visual library that we talked about earlier. And this method of storing information applies to everything you want to draw, from mice to lamps to a can of coke. Please sponsor me. And since you've drawn so many things so many times, you start to unlock the ultimate superpower. Drawing from imagination. So let's say you want to draw a type of mouse, creature, cyborg thing that you've never seen before. Well guess what? Because of what we did earlier, you now know how to draw a mouse. So let's just apply the same method of drawing to a computer chip and suddenly you have the guinea pigs from G4. No, I'm just kidding. You'll have a cyborg mouse. That's pretty cool, right? Your visual library will eventually become so vast from the experience of drawing so many things so many times that you can literally draw anything you want by combining different elements of the things you already know how to draw because you've drawn them so many times. It's just locked in your brain now. But like always, nothing ever goes to plan. So we have a problem. Perhaps you know how to draw those things, but you don't know how to draw them well or give them depth. Well, here's your quick fix draftsmanship, or in smooth brain terms, mark making, line quality and understanding overlap. Now to get some of them good quality, juicy looking lines, 
you gotta do some line control practice. This will help you not only draw better, but draw faster because you won't be pressing that undo button over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Six and a half hours later. So come to grips with holding your pencil comfortably and be more confident with your lines. An easy little technique that I use if my lines aren't going where I want them to go is to just look slightly ahead of where you're putting the line down. So let's say you're drawing a line from here to here. While you're drawing it, look here. Does that make sense? Cool. But unfortunately, it's not enough to just be confident. Line weights and overlapping lines are important too. Line weights indicate where the light source is coming from, and overlapping lines indicate depth by telling us which objects are in front of the other ones. If I'm drawing an object and the light source is coming from above, then the lines that represent the bottom of the shape will be thicker than they are at the top because they are receiving less light. And this can be applied to lines that overlap too, ambient occlusion, which refers to the intersection between two objects that light can't reach. It's prominent here, and so you can darken those intersections to provide some depth in the object. And lastly, stop chicken scratching. Just don't do it, bro. Be confident. You have so much to be confident about. Seriously though, you can draw your line in one swoop. You don't need a thousand little lines to get from point A to point B. You only need one clean, confident line. Just don't chicken scratch, bro. Now, if you've stopped chicken scratching and your lines are improving, a great way to learn how to draw well is to learn from those who already draw well. This sounds obvious, I know, but there are some artists who stylize things in a way that would be counterintuitive for beginners. Like, if you're trying to learn head proportions from this thing, it's gonna set your lifespan back more than a pack of cigarettes. So try and go and find the artists who know what they're doing fundamentally and learn from them instead. And there are plenty of those, but master artists are the ones to look out for. A great way to find the right artist to study is to go and find an artist you admire and see who they are studying. Most of the time it's gonna lead back to Leyendecker, but we won't get into that today. And the nice thing is, artists are good people. Most of the time, these master artists are gonna provide valuable insight online for free. They will have tutorials. Just watch them and take from it what you like the most and apply it to your own practice. Soon you'll have a great hybrid workflow before you know it. You'll also find that the more you discover, the more great artists you'll be exposed to, the more motivated you'll become to draw like them. It's just a nice big motivational cycle. But despite all that, something that they all have in common is they all understand the fundamentals. And yes, we have to get into that at some point. This is the boring stuff, but it's the stuff that will make you a god. You can't build a house without a solid foundation. Well, these fundamentals will be your foundation. And even if you know how to draw that one mouse from that one reference, you will only ever be able to draw that one mouse from that one reference unless you study the fundamentals. Soon you'll find that you're stuck. What if you want to draw it the other way around? Well, the fundamentals are the key to unlocking that skill. Perspective, form, anatomy, lighting, value, structure, color theory, composition. There's a lot of them, I know. But by taking it step by step and observing other artists, you'll find that you've managed to learn them all simultaneously anyways whilst you're doing your studies. These fundamentals are the things that are gonna take you to the absolute next level. Please learn them. You will thank me later. I promise you that every artist who is amazing now that started off learning to draw from the anime art style, they wish they started off drawing by learning the fundamentals because they wasted so much time by learning things they didn't need to learn when the fundamentals was really all they needed to get started in the beginning. Once you've mastered these things, you'll start to really have fun. Now you can draw without limitations and anything you want to be able to draw is at your fingertips because you put in just that little bit of work at the start studying the boring things. I personally am so thankful that I started off with the fundamentals because it accelerated my learning. There are people that I know that took decades to get to the kind of level I'm at because they didn't have that strong foundation to start with 
and I can promise you that they wish they had a video like this when they started. I know that I would have been so grateful to watch a video like this when I started drawing because it would push me in the right direction to start learning. And so now it's time for you to go out there and start learning how to draw, taking all the advice that I've just given you. I just want to say the biggest thank you to my Patreons who support me and help me make these videos for you guys so that I can give back to the art community. And if you would like to help support me as well so that I can keep making these videos to provide more value and help you all learn how to be better artists, the link is in my description. You will find a ton of value on there from anatomy sketches to tutorials to time lapses all the way down to my high resolution artworks before I upload them onto Instagram. And with that, I will leave you guys with a peace and see you in the next video.